Hi, it's Steve here. This is to show you how to use the online Avalanche staking system. When you open it, you will be given the new session start. And this is where you set up what we call a session, which is like in the um, Excel spreadsheet, it's like a work tab. So for example, um, Gary's goals uh, over 2.5 and then the initial bank uh, I'm using 500 now the base stake is a percentage so um, in the example that I've used on the Gary goals it's 2% so if I put in the base stake of 2 that's going to be my staff bet's going to be 10 pound which is going to be 2% of my 500 commission if you are using just the bookies we'll put zero in there otherwise using exchange just put in five or whatever your exchange is then once we've just done that simple entry, we push submit, and then that will bring us up to the screen here. So we can see it here, Gary's goals over 2.5 session one. So this would maybe be our main session. It tells us that our initial bank is 500, our initial stake is 2%, and our commission is zero. Okay, now the clear means we can clear this, although we've only just started, so we wouldn't want to. We can hide, if we hide, this, it'll only hide all the workings of the avalanche at the moment, which is, is, is hidden. If we click show, you can see that is all the avalanche multiple staking that happens in the background um, that makes the system so powerful. So at the moment, we'll click hide, it makes it much easier. I'm using this on a uh, laptop at the moment, but you can use it on your iPad or your phone. So for example, today we're gonna start a new this is our bet that we're going to be doing, a selection. So we put in the date, we put in the venue. Now the venue may be the team, so we're going to have Fulham. The race, well it's set up for racing, but in this race here, you can only put numbers and we won't worry about that. The time, we put in the time that the event is going to start. Now the number is once again a number of a horse or a dog, so we don't need to use that. And the name here, is uh, to give it some identity. So we're going to put um, over 2.5. RAN is the finishing position. Um, so you can put, uh, wherever, if it's a horse race, and you, you put one for first, two for second, etc. But uh, as this is going to be an over 2.5 bet with football, we'll just leave that. Now, in the commission, we put zero because we've got zero commission. Now the dividend, the price in that, the price that we put in there, if we put that in, so I'll just put that in for a minute. Um, and if I click add, this would acknowledge this line. So we can see here, it's assuming now that this bet has won which is not the case yet. We don't know if it's one yet. So we can just double click on that and we can take that out and put add again. And you can see now it's showing as a loss. Even though it's showing as a loss, the, bet has, uh, the game hasn't been played yet. So once the game is played, then we can double click here and put the price in. So if we won, we put the price in. If we lost, we just leave it as is, okay? and it will register as a loss. So for example, this example, take 1.65, we just click add, and now that row is complete for us, and it's telling us we made five, five, uh, we made eight, 850 profit, and if we click show, uh, it doesn't show any of the multiple staking yet because that will not come in until we start the next line. So if we go in here, 26th of 12, 2018. And we put uh, this one, Man United. Um, the time. Once again, these are all over 2.5, but we put in 2.5. And um, we it hasn't started yet, so we'll click Add. Uh, commission, we haven't put the commission in, it's reminding us, so, and we click add. So at the moment, this is showing as a loss, so we'll come back in a couple of hours after the game's been played, and if it's a winning bet, we'll just go in here and put, uh, 
put that and click add and uh, it's added it on now if we go to show we can see now see double bet it's starting to take some of the winnings of this first bet now and is being displayed here and in fact that was used if I scroll right across we can see now that our rounded bet for the second game was 12 whereas the standard bet would have been 10 now we see the exact bet or the rounded bet here this is the rounded bet is the amount that you'll be betting okay and that's the amount that the profit and all that's worked on so always only look at the round amount for your bets okay don't worry about the exact bet because that's just what it exactly is but when it works out the profit the bet profit it's working it out on the rounded bet okay so that is how you fill in and if we go down here we can see the graph here now showing the winning returns and this is our growth we've only had two bets so we're up to about 15 profit as we can see now if we could click home what that does it brings us back to where we started but these down here are our resume our active sessions that we already have the Gary goals one is the one that we've just used and so if we were going to have another bet and uh, we wanted to use that all we do is click on resume and we can do that on any of that of any of these so that's why it's important to have the name sessions with something that really relates to what you're doing if you're betting the UK horses and you're doing a place method well then you would put UK horses place one or place or whatever it would give you the identification so that you could look at it and say yes I've got a bet that qualifies for that staking click resume and you're ready to go in again now you don't have to fill in all obviously all the rows in that here the most important ones are, are, are the date and then the commission has to be put in and also the win win place whatever the the dividend is that you're getting back has to go in there if it's a winning bet if it's not a winning bet then you leave it blank okay so don't put anything in there if the bet did not return you that price okay so that is how it works and then you just sign out when you've finished everything and when you open it again it's exactly as you see there and then we've got summaries at the top there telling us exactly how this session is going okay this session is making 118 percent return on investment current bank is at 526 okay so thanks for watching this and i hope you have a lot of fun with the advantage staking and remember it is is also available as an Excel. This is Steve signing off, wishing you all the best and thank you.